Hey everyone, Marco here and welcome back to the channel. As you might already know, Omnivore, the free retailer app, is shutting down. They announced this on October 29th and one important note is that users have only two weeks to export their data before everything is permanently deleted. Now, I get it, free tools are great for saving money and who doesn't appreciate that? But there is a hidden cost. When it comes to data and knowledge management, free tools often come with risks. And Omnivore Shutdown is a perfect example of why relying solely on free tools can be a gamble. So when choosing a tool, remember this moment. That said, there are some strong alternatives in the read later space, and I've covered a few right here on the channel. For example, Readwise, known for its excellent integrations, and Obsidian Web Clipper, which while limited is perfect if you want to save full articles directly to your Obsidian Vault. Check out the links to those videos in the description below. But today I want to introduce you to Matter, another great read the letter app that offers some unique features. With Matter you can save articles, videos, podcasts, practically anything you don't have time to engage with right away, and access and consume it all in one place. Plus, the apps on page includes a smart content discovery tool so you can get fresh and curated reads at your fingertips. So let's dive into Matter, see it in action, and explore how you can seamlessly integrate it with Obsidian. Let's dive into Matter interface, starting with the Q section. This is where all your saved content lives. Whether you're saving from the mobile app or the Matter browser extension, everything you bookmark flows right here. Let's try it out. I've got a blog post open, and with one click on the Matter extension, I can capture it having the possibility to instantly assign a tag, jot down a quick note, or take actions like sending it to my Kindle or reading it directly in Matter. Once the article is open inside Matter, I can start highlighting text and adding notes right on the spot. And here's a cool feature. You can switch between text and audio, turning your articles, blog posts, and newsletters into a playlist with natural human sounding narration. Matter also has a smart AI integration that suggests similar articles and even summarizes your content for you, perfect for quick insights on the go. Now, about saving content, besides the queue, Matter's home section serves up recommendations for interesting reads. Just click the bookmark icon and this will be instantly added to your queue. Let's move on to the inbox section. This is where all your newsletters are gathered. If you are a Gmail user, you can connect your account to fetch newsletters directly. Or you can use a unique Matter email to subscribe. I recommend a different approach. Set up email forwarding with Matters email. This keeps your subscriptions on your main email account, but also forwards them to Matter. So if you ever stop using the app, there's no hassle. Lastly, you can also add content via an RSS feed URL. Next, let's jump into Obsidian. This is the updated version of the Vault template, available for download to all Insider members on my website mindstoneconsulting.net. Under the Read Later folder, I created a subfolder called Matter to store all highlights and notes. To set this up, we need to install the official Matter plugin, so go to Settings, Community Plugins, and search for Matter. Install, enable, and then go to options. Here I specify where my highlights and notes will be saved, in this case read later matter. Now connect your matter account by following the instruction you find here and tap on scan QR code from your mobile app. Once you connected your account, hit Start Syncing. And just like that, your highlights and notes appear in your vault. Now, the formatting doesn't look so nice, but you can customize it. Go back to the plugin settings 
and here you can define your templates using the supported tags listed here. You can do this for both metadata and highlights. I will copy and paste my templates to give you an idea of how they can look. I will delete the notes here and sync matter again so that the notes are formatted using my new templates. And now I have a clear property section and distinct callouts for highlights and notes, making everything easy to read. That wraps up today's video. I've been really enjoying using Matter and I thought you might find it just as useful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more insights like this. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Have you tried Matter yet? And if you were using Omnivore, which read later app are you considering switching to? Let me know what works best for you. And hey, remember to follow me on X and Macedon, join my Discord server and sign up for my bi-weekly newsletter. I share all things productivity, knowledge management and automation. Stuff you will not want to miss. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.